the 2024 CrossFit Open is just a couple months away. It's a time when CrossFit athletes around the world come together to complete three weeks of workouts, testing their fitness and setting new benchmarks and goals to take into the year ahead. For some, it's the first step on the road to the CrossFit Games. And for others, it's an opportunity to gauge their progress and bond with their affiliate community. Today, I'm joined by Gavin Heselton and Ian Barber, the owners and operators of CrossFit Glasgow in the United Kingdom. And this segment today is brought to you by Bear Complex. And guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I know you're in competition mode, but um, appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, very welcome. Glad to be here. So the Open is just around the corner, right? And uh, it will be in the new year in no time. And you guys have a track record of some high participation numbers. I know last year was 281. You, you have a lifetime high, I think, of around 365. Th those are huge numbers. So for you guys, big picture, what does the Open mean to you guys in your community? The, the Open for us is a really special time of the year. It's that, that check-in session where everyone comes together, the whole community. Uh, we have lots of different uh, athletic tracks and programs within our our affiliate so it's great to get everybody back together and, and all focus on the, the one thing yeah i think it's also an opportunity for our members to you know test and retest like what they've achieved and learned and accomplished over the past year so you know people can actually be rewarded for the fruits of their labor and they can see that in progress like year upon year and how do you get your members excited about participating i know there's some you got to rally a little bit and then there's certainly some inertia at play when you have 200 300 plus people signing up it's easy to get some peer pressure but what are some other things that you guys do to kind of get that energy going uh, i think it's the the programming throughout the year we, we have to expose them to uh, similar tests so we'll have open workouts will come up in the natural course of the the programming um and beyond that it's like a, a conversation at a time you know we're we're passionate about the open we we love the way that people are able to track their their fitness over uh, a long time frame um you know just talk to the individuals and find out like what it is that's uh, important to them and and we try to meet somewhere in the middle and so you know there is the obvious uh obstacle of people being hesitant to sign up for the open um what are the things that you guys see um i mean you're a 15 year affiliate you've been in involved every year the open what are some of the things that you see that make people hesitant to sign up and ultimately what do you say them to them as as trainers as friends as as, as gym owners to, to maybe ease those hesitations i guess for just about everybody getting into the open for the first time it's, it's a fear of the unknown but again uh, through exposure like routine exposure in our programming and then being able to demystify it because it, it's not it's not a scary thing. It's, it's a workout of the day. The, the whole gym participates as part of the programming. You're going to be doing it anyway, so you might as well sign up. There's also, like Gavin said, that fear of the unknown is not necessarily a bad thing as well. It's an opportunity to test yourself. And I think as great as it is to come in every day or you know three times a week into your local gym, there comes a point in time where you actually have to put yourself under that little bit of extra pressure, like stick your neck out and just find out where you're at. And if you haven't been consistent in the past year, then the open very often shows that and then kind of relights that motivation for next year. Yeah, I think I think uh, a lot of people listening have probably felt that at one time or another during the open uh during its uh, near 15 year history almost now at this point too. But you guys are a 15 year affiliate. Um, you're one of the first affiliates in the United Kingdom. You've been an anchor for the affiliate community for a long time. Um, as you guys celebrate the Open each year, what are some things that you guys do in particular to celebrate your community? And is there any special plans this year in particular? Uh, I think that that's evolved over time. I, I think in the early days, it was in, enough just to um, showcase our own community. And, you know, we, we would do the open and, you know, celebrate or commiserate your own results. And then after everyone for the last 15 years, we, we've had a party and everyone gets together and uh, just relaxes. It's, it's really good. My final question is, you know, the open has certainly built uh, a history of memories for people through those check-ins, through that pressure that you guys talked about and putting ourselves out there a little bit. For you guys, both personally as gym owners and watching your affiliate community community ebb and flow throughout the years, 
when you think about the open, what are a few things that come to mind? Good question. <laughs> uh, there's, there's been a lot. There's been a lot of years, and, and every year has its own special moments. You know, whether it's you're you're out there doing something special to yourself. You know, like when we very first started, like in the the first ever open, uh, and then every year, like just seeing our community grow and and be measured by participation in the open. You know, it's a direct reflection of. The, the community that we were building there, um, and those those numbers were virtually identical because we had like 99% sign up. Um, so you know every year is, is special in its own right. It would be difficult to like pinpoint a single like standout event. Is there any uh, registration uh, goals for this year? Because I've heard through some <laughs> videos on your website, you've thrown out the number of 400 out there. That's a that's a huge number. I don't know if. If that's in the cards this year or not, but what what is the goal for for the Glasgow crew? We we would love to get 400. Like we we have the the resources, we we have the the community there. Um, we just hope that we're we're able to effectively deliver just like how important the Open is to us as uh, as a community and as an organization. And like we just. We really want to share that passion with as many people as possible. It's been an incredible experience for us and, and we want to, to get as many people on board with that as we can. Yeah, and it's something that won't happen by itself or passively. It's something we have to start thinking about now and start talking about, like Gavin said, and showing it in the programming and getting people on board with the idea. Um, it, it won't happen by accident. It's going to, at some point, it's going to require probably like just sheer force of will. Yeah, for sure. We, we have to try to normalize the thing. You know, so many of our members have done it before. It, it, it becomes quite a, an easy sell. We, we just have to, you know, one conversation at a time, communicate what it is and then, you know, demystify it. It's not scary. A little bit of intention and consistency goes a long way. It sounds a little bit like our training, if, if you ask me. Um, yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much uh, for taking a little bit of time out of your day to chat about the Open. Uh, appreciate all the work that you guys have done over in the UK as, as like I said, as one of the longstanding affiliates. Uh, I'll be pulling for that 400 number for you guys and uh, uh, best of luck this weekend as I know you're helping run a competition. Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you.